Hello, 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 everyone. This is Mantra of the Loose Woman Sanctuary. And I have a special guest with us tonight, which is Kelly Wembley. Hello. Uh, unfortunately, we've had a couple of uh, mishaps, which is kind of suiting for our theme today. Uh, first, uh, our host, who is missing, uh, Tigra de la Cruz, injured her foot, so she won't be joining us today. So let's send some good energy and positive energy her way. Um, second, our guest uh, speaker that was here, well, featured for today, which is uh, Dr. Paulette Sankofa. Unfortunately, she took ill um, and, is, and is a bit under the weather <laughs> this week as well. So it's very suiting and fitting that our topic of the day will be about health and health tips and alternative uh, health uh, care for the season. So I hope you guys are ready for a good show. And we have this uh, guy here who's yeah, this, guy. <laughs> this, this guy here. I'm, not, I'm this guy. He's this, he's this guy. <laughs> this guy here who is awesome and mm. with uh, techniques of health and um, other a lot of different methods of, of healing. So, oh, before I begin, we are in the beautiful space of love and light cuisine, 1325 Hampton Avenue. Yes. So uh, we're, we're here again on this beautiful, wonderful Tuesday. And it appears that we have everything set up perfectly. So yeah. if you got your link, uh, the YouTube link, please go to it, leave us a comment, let us know how things are going. Uh, I just started a YouTube channel uh, there, which is called Tuesday Table Talks. So that should be a, a, a great way for you guys to connect and for us to kind of get this show um, going and more conducive for everyone. So our talk today is about maintaining our health during the winter season. As we know, flu season, yes. uh, viruses, all kinds, all sorts are very prevalent right now. And we're just coming out of the pandemic. So we still have a, a lot of COVID issues as well. Yeah. So um, what are some of the things that we could possibly do to ensure that our immune system is high and that we're doing what we need to do to ensure our health and, and not get taken down by the cold or flu or, or certain viruses? Um, diet, stress, sleep, all three of those. Didn't get much sleep <laughs> last night. I didn't uh, either. Yeah, so yeah, we're, with on, the band we're, on, the last no, night we're on the no sleep team. Had a good time. A a good time. So um, a friend of mine was his 60th birthday. And, and Happy yeah. belated birthday, Darren yeah, Lewis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Darren so, Lewis. Um, Drinking lots of water, you know, in the wintertime, a lot of times we don't want to drink water. I don't know what that's about um, because it's cold. It's like one of the last things you think about doing, whereas in the summer we're guzzling. And uh, a lot of times, um, well, I'll just say this. When we breathe, we're exhaling moisture and you tend not to notice that uh, unless you got a mirror or a glass in front of your face or when it's cold and then you can see your breath. So um, the same still applies. You're still exhaling moisture out of your system. So you need to replenish that. Uh, another thing is um, you want to keep your back warm. That's a big thing in uh, Chinese medicine. Uh, your kidneys are in your back. And um, when you get cold, you'll notice that you get that shiver of your back. It's one thing for somebody to splash cold water in front of your body. Another thing for somebody to splash cold water on your back. So if you go out in the cold and you get that cold air, it makes everything constrict and you get a lot of tension in your back. And you might even notice that when, when it's cold, if you drink a lot of water, you seem like you can't hold it. And um, in um, Chinese medicine, from, um, from, uh, from when I went to school for it and, uh, uh, and uh, a lot of my readings, they talk about different um, uh, temperatures of air and how it affects you. Hot air hit, hits you one kind of way, cold air hits you another way. Sometimes it affects the organs in your system. And and we and the thing about the kidneys in particular is that it filters your um, your 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 blood, you know, it's your urinary tract. So it gets gets rid of waste. Well, when you get a lot of tension around there, you notice that you're not you're not filtering as well. 
And so people tend to get tired quicker. You heard about people having old folks that say you got tired blood and that kind of thing. Well, if you're exposed to the cold a lot, you notice that you're, you're, you're tense more and everything. And, you know, your, 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 uh, your joints are cracking and all that stuff. And so you have more uric and lactic acid built up in your system. And so um, and you'll notice that a lot of times our, our immune systems tend to diminish. Other thing is that we're eating a lot of heavy foods mm -hmm. in the wintertime, a lot of comfort food because you ain't outside, you know, so um, uh, you're not moving around as much. Uh, we still need to uh, exercise and move around. Um, what was the other thing? Uh, uh, you know, uh, drinking soups, you know, everybody says this is soup weather. It is, you, you, uh, um, you know, eating hot meals helps immensely. You don't want to eat a whole lot of cold stuff in the wintertime. Um, and, you know, if you're lactose intolerant, you definitely don't need to be doing that. You know, most people are to a to varying degree. Um, anything that creates mucus in your body or builds up a lot of that, it's usually something your body doesn't tend to digest well or doesn't know how to assimilate well. And you get um, uh, swelling or you might get mucus buildup, like you notice your nose runs, you know, that kind of thing. You, mm -hmm. You'll notice, um, you know, you get mucus in your throat or in your chest, you know. Um, so I'm trying to think, there was one other thing that with the oh, herbs. Uh, one of the um, drinking herbal teas, mullen helps immensely. Um, uh, and, and, and we'll just move back to diet just a little bit. Pineapple actually helps. I know it doesn't grow around here in Missouri, but you can get it. And it has bromelain in it, uh, which is an enzyme. It actually helps to break up mucus in your system. And it's just about as good as cough medicine. That's what I keep hearing because it, it'll actually break that mucus built up in your system. So you can actually add pineapple and herbal teas together. Like I've taken like pineapple chunks, you know, like even frozen pineapple chunks and add it to a tea. You can add the mullein tea. So now you're getting the bromelain for the pineapple, which tastes good. You don't have to sweeten the tea because pineapple sweet, right? You don't have to, um, and you can add ginger to it, but it actually helps break up stuff too. Um, uh, there's also something, it doesn't taste that great, but it's um, uh, black seed oil. Mm. People use that for respiratory issues. Uh, it has a long history in, in Middle Eastern countries and, and, and also in colder climate countries. Um, and they use that to actually help uh, boost or uh, build up their immune system. Uh, the biggest thing that you can do in, in the wintertime is boost your immune, in your immune system. Actually, all year round, but definitely in the wintertime. Um, uh, not exposing your neck and your chest to the cold, that kind of thing, like say in your back. I mean, this, a lot of this stuff is common sense stuff. Uh, but, you know, as we when we were younger, you know, we would uh, test all that stuff out. And then come back hacking back to our parents because, you know, you, my mom used to say, you're coming out, you, you're out here dressing like summertime, <laughs> you know, and you go out there and it, it's not new, but it's new to you. And next thing you know, it, I always I used to tell my sons it's not personal, but it affects you personally. You know, it didn't turn to be winter or cold outside just because you were born. So you need to get with the program and wrap up, <laughs> you know, and so. So what are some tips that we can give? for those right now currently who are sick, who are ill, you know, with colds, with mucus, with virus, who may be bedridden, yeah. you know? Yeah, but... um, mullen, like I said, mullen tea is excellent. Um, uh, foods that, that break up mucus, like we said, I mentioned pineapple is one, but you could do, uh, you know, anything with a menthol-y kind of content, cardamom, rosemary, um, you can make teas from those. Those help break up stuff uh, in your system. Um, you can uh, do soups like with turmeric. Uh, turmeric with, is excellent. Uh, turmeric and ginger is excellent. And also, a lot of times we get that, that post nasal drip and everything when we go to sleep. And, and a lot of times we get mucus in our uh, throats, our chest, or we're actually putting it in our stomach. Ginger helps break up a lot of that. It actually stimulates your digestive system to get that stuff out. Uh, a lot of times folks with the flu, um, there's a lot of mucus built up. And a lot of times that stuff goes into our, not only our respiratory system, but it drains down into our digestive system. And our body have a problem with it. People tell me I have the stomach flu and stuff like that. And it actually help get rid of a lot of that out of your system. So 
my I know a particular good tonic mm -hmm. that's really good, uh, not just for when you have a cold, but also good to, at preventing the uh, cold is turmeric. It's called uh, what golden milk. Oh yeah, so golden milk. Turmeric, if you if you have honey or agave, turmeric, honey, and black pepper, mm -hmm. and you can add a little bit of ginger to it mm -hmm. and warm it up with uh, some oat milk or coconut milk. Uh, Whichever one that doesn't create mucus for you, basically. Right, which, that's why I you said know, so. a, a, a non-lactose based yeah. milk yeah. Uh, would be best. Rice yeah. milk would be awesome Rice milk well. is good. Coconut milk is excellent. I mean, like some people have allergies and stuff, so you got to know which one works for you. Uh, if it if, if you feel some raspiness or something in your throat, then it ain't for you. That's basically your body telling you immediately. If you're feeling some mucus build up in your throat when you eat it or drink it, cut it out or only do small amounts. Mm -hmm. Or um, the other extreme is for those folks who are trying to do it anyway, make sure you're, you're combining with the thing, stuff that actually helps it break up in your system. So um, if you mix it with ginger or, 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 or whatever will work, I mean, the best thing is just cut it out your system, uh, out your diet altogether. Because one thing about the human body, it doesn't lie. It'll, it'll tell you if it's for you or if it ain't. Right. So. And also some form of exercise, you know, some some form of exercise. It could be yoga, just uh, Pilates, light stretching, something to get your body moving and yeah, getting absolutely. everything flowing through and, and everything out. Yeah. A lot of times we compact our body yes. with uh, a lot of different food and mm -hmm. other sources that may not be necessary healthy for us. Mm -hmm. So in order to keep that from being trapped in mm -hmm. within our intestines and cells and causing plaque and mm -hmm. other buildup within our body, we need to kind of keep that flowing and, yeah. and going out. Yeah, um, yoga like, is excellent. Tai Chi, Chi Gong. Something that I was taught years ago, you can, if you, just something as simple as this, you can just do this. Yep, and you want to tap around, you know, because you have this thing called your lymph nodes. And I remember I'm always talking, oh, your lymph nodes are swollen. Your lymph nodes are swollen. Well, it's a blockage. Uh, the equivalent of that would be like if you had a blockage in your, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, your circulatory system. And the difference between your lymphatic system uh, which basically has vessels as well, uh, where lymphatic flows, uh, the lymph uh, flows through your body. That's that's your immune system. Um, it um, it doesn't have a, a a heart to pump it like your uh, circulatory system does. So you moving around and um, is what gets your lymphatic flowing, your lymphatic fluid flowing in your system. So stretches, that kind of stuff, exercise, but doing things like this. You know, do it going to where the the, under the armpits, and, and right. under armpits, that kind of thing around your neck, up up in your neck, up in here. You know, um, that actually gets the lymphatic flow. You know, and you notice the difference. It feels a little different uh, after you do it. You you feel things loosen up. You know, um, so that that's one approach, and it's something pretty much everybody can do. If you got arms, you can do it. Arms, you know. Right. It's it's a technique too involving that that I teach. Uh, during the meditation classes is you can take the palms of your hands and go massaging out and upward mm -hmm. going toward the back it's releasing and opening up the that lymph node and clearing out some of the the toxins there and also you can do the same thing underneath your armpits mm -hmm. i don't know if you can see this well but you just doing like this and just going underneath the armpits mm -hmm. taking the heel of the palm and pulling in and tugging and releasing that so the same thing and then i this mm -hmm. i love this because yeah. it not only wakes up you know the, the cells of the body but like as uh mr wimbley as kelly was saying that it it helps you know take out some of the fluid the mm -hmm. fluid build up and any toxins that are, are built up within the, yeah. the it's just um, ultimately just waking up your body like before even doing a stretch because some people are like oh, i got oh, all this gosh. if you do all this stuff first yeah. believe me about five minutes through all that you'll notice that your flexibility uh, the joints and everything get moving and then you can do your stretch, you know, or start to, or do your stretch and then you can do your exercises and stuff like that. Because a lot of times people sleep and there's cold in the middle of the night and your body is slowly doing this to try to keep itself warm. And you've been standing, you got this breeze or something blowing on you, whatever, in the middle of the night, and your body's been constricting like the whole night. But you don't know because you're knocked out. You sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, and then when you wake up, you, you're noticing all this cracking and all this stuff because you've been, I mean, imagine trying to make a muscle and and you do it for 10 seconds. Imagine doing it for five minutes. Imagine if you did that for four or five hours. Well, that's what you're doing when you tighten it up all night. 
you know? So, and then it's expecting to try to use that arm after you've made a muscle for five minutes or five hours, it'll be locked, you know? So um, you're not going to get full range motion. And so, um, so as, as you, if you did this after you did that, you'll notice that your arm's going to loosen up. Same thing for the rest of your body. So. so maybe that's something that we can suggest to the viewers is when you wake up in the morning, mm. you know, develop a routine where your body is moving, just, mm. you know, gentle movement, um, doing that to wake up the lymph nodes, clean out some of the toxins and possibly have something warm or hot first thing in the morning, mm -hmm. you know, to to get that temperature going and to get stuff coming out. So um, ginger, turmeric. Yep. Um, black pepper, black seed oil, yeah. um, high vitamin C, bromelain, yeah. uh, that is That's in the pineapple. pineapple. Mm -hmm. um, um, and so you, you mentioned Jeez. herbs, uh, mullein. Yeah, mullein. You know, people use echinacea, golden seal. Uh, golden seal. Um, the, the, the other thing is a disclaimer on it. Anything to an extreme is not a good thing. And a lot of times that's relative to the individual. So, um, one person could eat and I just could eat a bag of potato chips and also their blood pressure skyrockets because of the salt. Another person, their stays the same. You know, I used to say, you know, uh, if I go to Baskin Robbins, all 31 flavors ain't for me because I'm lactose intolerant, you know? So, um, so it doesn't matter how cool I am with my friends if I went. Being cool with my friends doesn't make me tolerant mm -hmm. of, of lactose. So um, so you kind of got to gauge these things for yourself. Start in small portions first. Um, if you can't find a formula to use it, then you try a small amount, you know, and then and then you see how it works with your system. So that, that keeps things safe, you know. Um, and you said something earlier when we first started the, the conversation about sleep. Oh, yeah. Why, why is sleep so important yeah. for um, healing and immune system building and keeping us free from? Well, well um, sleep allows us to regenerate, you know, helps our bodies regenerate. Um, if you don't sleep well, I mean, you'll notice. I mean, you, 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 I notice if I don't get much sleep, I tend to have a long fuse. But when I don't get enough sleep, I notice as my fuse is shorter in terms of my patience with people, you know. Um, and so, um, and I have to remind myself, like, yeah, you know, I used to teach classes and tell the kids when I was teaching, it's like, look, it's not your fault that I didn't get any sleep last night. You don't know it, but I normally give everybody three strikes. Well, today it might be one or two, okay? <laughs> so, because my tolerance is down. It's not your fault, though, but it might feel like it is. Mm -hmm. So, so, um, so the thing is gauging, you know, knowing those things about yourself is one, but getting sleep is important. It boosts your immune system. Uh, your digestion is, is better when you get sleep. Um, um, I said flexibility when you get sleep. Um, and, and the other thing is that you think clearer when you get sleep. Um, hence, like I said, if I, if I don't get enough sleep, my fuse is a little short. So, uh, that means I'm not thinking as clear, you know, as I was, you know, so um, as if I if I had sleep, so. And I, I think too, also let's you know be monitor the intake of certain things like alcohol, yes, caffeine, absolutely. um, those things that are taxing on the adrenals. Yeah. Um, that's putting a lot of stress on our bodies and and weakening the immune system. Mm -hmm. Though it feels good at the time, yeah. you know. I, psh, psh, caffeine was one of my yeah, main yeah, yeah. addictions, but. Uh, it feels good at the time, but after when when we come down off of that, it's, it's too much stress. Yeah, it's, it's one of those definitely weakens, diminishing returns yeah, type things. So. Yeah, definitely weakens yeah. the immune system. Yeah. Right. So, um, so I want to go back over the tips. So, mm. making sure diet is okay and good. Yes. Monitoring the foods that we eat. Monitoring um, the amount of dairy products we mm. have because. Dairy can produce a lot of mucus and mucus buildup. Mm -hmm. uh, making sure we're eating enough veggies and yeah, fruits, without a doubt. green yeah. leafy uh, yeah. veg vegetables, mm -hmm. um, uh, other herbs, including those within our diet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, golden seal, echinacea mm -hmm. during this time. Yeah, of uh, course, green you always tea, hear about yeah. You know, uh, rooibos. Matcha. Uh, yeah, matcha is excellent. Yeah, for the coffee drinkers, <laughs> there's caffeine it's, in that, it's, it's ca but yeah. It has so many antioxidants that it doesn't have the same, same pitfalls that come along with drinking coffee. Uh, um, 
you know, everything has its everything has its yeah. pros and cons and yin and yang, whatever. To you know, and um, something that we like to use, which was brought up, mud water. Now they are not sponsoring us. <laughs> this is but available we are being here. sponsored by Love right. and Light, though, right. which this carries is... this. <laughs> so. so this is available here yeah. uh, within the, uh, the cuisine, and I also need to thank you for that reminder. Um, so this is what we're drinking, which yeah. most times during the episodes of these broadcasts, we're mm. drinking mud water, mm. which is high in uh, mushrooms, uh, lion's mane, cordyceps, yep. chaga, risha mushrooms, cinnamon, turmeric, and Himalayan salt. So this yeah. is- Yeah, and, and the importance of those herbs, are all of them are immune bis- uh, boosting herbs or uh, mushrooms. So um, they there are studies that have been around for years, I mean, for years that mentioning these particular mushrooms in this product and um, uh, that not only boost your immune system, uh, they help with your cognitive ability, uh, uh, digestion. Um, I mean, I, it, it's every, yeah, it's, it has it's, a lot it's, of good stuff yeah, in it. It's, it's and you can, the main thing is that you can feel the difference. I mean, I can sit up and tell you what's in something, but until you taste it and or feel it, you don't know. You know, I could describe snow all day, but until you get a snowball in your face, you know, what I mean? you don't know anything about snow. So, um, so, but this has like really good, like cacao actually has a little bit of caffeine in it, but it's not enough to, it's definitely not like, like coffee. Lion's mane is great for the immune system, but it's great for the brain. Cordyceps is great for the immune system in your brain. Chaga actually will help you sleep better. Uh, it works with the um, melatonin and serotonin in your brain. Uh, nice, melatonin helps gland. you sleep. Serotonin wakes you up. Uh, reishi mushroom is excellent for your immune system. Uh, cinnamon uh, helps with uh, can help with uh, blood sugar balance. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory, and actually all of these um, uh, mushrooms in here are anti-inflammatories. Um, so, so for those folks who don't know what that is, so when you get joint swelling or or uh, mucus buildup or whatever, that's usually an anti- it's an inflammatory response. Uh, and it has Himalayan sea salt. So you're getting a lot of minerals with the sea salt that we normally don't get with regular white table salt. So, um, and it's got a, oh, it also has black tea, which is also a little bit caffeine too. Okay, uh, but it's coming with a lot of antioxidants. It's got ginger in it, digestive aid. Cardamom uh, is excellent for relaxing you, uh, but it also has break up mucus because of the amount of, uh, um, what's it called, uh, menthol that's in it. It's got cloves, which also helps relax you. Nutmeg does as well. And the black pepper, along with the ginger, actually helps you assimilate all these other herbs more efficiently because they're digestive aids. So um, I used to work at a place called the Golden Grocer. So I used to be able to just rattle this stuff off all the time. It was a health food store that had been here for years. So, um, and this is something and, that you do. I mean, yeah, and, this is, and, and I live so, this way. So, right. uh, and, it, and it makes a difference. It, it really makes a difference. Um, uh, I'm not telling everybody that they should be a vegetarian. But all I do know is that I feel better and nobody can gauge that better than you. If you say that you're in pain, the doctor has to ask you how in pain are from one to 10. But they don't know if you're experienced with pain, if your one is being uh, uh, being set on fire or if it's a paper cut. They don't know if your 10 is a paper cut or if you've been set on fire. I mean, that's it's all subjective. And so your your health um is is something that you have to take care of you you only get one you somebody can tell you hey uh at 16 you learn how to drive this car pick whatever car you want but this is the only car you're going to get for the rest of your life so that means you probably gonna learn a whole lot about taking care of a car well you only get one you so and that's what this is about so another thing i want to discuss is uh natural products for anti well antiseptics and antibacterial mm. cleaning products to clean our house and what to spray our the mist our um, air and spaces with you know to kill some of the viruses and and bacteria and stuff well, a bacteria lot. primarily yeah. right yeah well a lot of well viruses too so mm. uh hydrogen peroxide which you can mix half mm. half uh that and half water these are you know techniques um mm. <laughs> half that with half water instead of using harsh chemicals like bleach or you know or, or some of the things that's in those um the aerosol cans of like lysol vinegar also kills 99 percent 
of germs. Um, so that's good. You can put it in a spray bottle, mix it with some water um, and actually add like essential oil to it. I like citrus, mm -hmm. orange in which we know citrus actually is really good with killing some um, bacterial and, and, and yeah. viruses, too. Mm -hmm. So um, you can add lemon that to oil, lemon oil, oil uh, right? Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, orange oil and they smell good. I yeah, mean, they, smell smell good. Really good. they smell good. Right. Um, uh, tea tree oil is excellent for uh, uh, as a uh, disinfectant. It kills uh, all kinds of uh, bacteria. Um, which I think was another one that we used. Uh, lavender. Lavender. Lavender is good. Yeah. Hydrogen peroxide mm -hmm. using that. It kills a lot of stuff too. Um, and, and if anything, a lot of it makes it inhospitable for them to reproduce a lot of the bacteria to reproduce it's it's the the environment that is created makes it so that they don't reproduce so therefore they're gone <laughs> you know so you know so that's not going to be something that affects you as, as, as bad oh uh, another thing that a lot of people have been hip to over the years that's been used for many many years in different cultures uh, over the years you might hear about people saging sage actually kills bacteria it does it does. So, so a lot of cultures, they may not have called it bacteria or whatever, but in ancient cultures, people tended to use what worked. And so if they didn't break it down through more Western scientific method, if it worked, then they, they passed it on. You know, if it didn't, you didn't pass it on, <laughs> you know, you can say it's, it's common sense. So when people would sage a house, well, they noticed there had been some studies that showed that the bacteria level went down, you know, with that being in the air. So if people are sneezing and stuff like that, that's in the air. But they noticed that the sage, the essential oil that's in the sage is being burnt, and that smoke is actually knocking down the bacteria that's in the air. Um, there's another one called Palo Santo that I really love the smell. It's a wood, uh, and that actually would be more the uh, South American, Southwestern equivalent of using sage um, and it smells good. It smells really, really good. Uh, um, and it's like a sweet woody smell uh, and it, it kills bacteria as well. Right. So, so so you don't have to have your stuff smell like purposes, right? they're, they're a good for chemical it. factory, you know, in order to, to have a similar effect. So, uh, so. Okay, what is a, um... A family bomb or something that you know your grand or family uh, words of wisdom from your grandparents or somebody told you that kind of passed down that works when it comes to healing. If some if a baby has a cold or something, what the grandma do? Oh, she's my grandmother's big on Vicks, <laughs> so rub it on your chest, on your throat, on your Under, back, yeah. the nostrils. My right. grandmother would put mm -hmm. take put her all, fingertips yeah. and put it, you know, right at the tip of the, the nose, mm -hmm. on your yep. upper lip, whatever. You know, uh, if you don't want to use petroleum-based stuff, then you can take some coconut oil. You can mix uh, eucalyptus or cardamom oil or any one of those and create your own. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use stuff that's some people got issues with petroleum. So uh, there's, a, there's an old saying that uh, you should not put anything on your body you cannot eat. You can eat coconut oil. OK, we you can eat sage. I mean, it's, we, you know, it, it's, a, it's a spice, you know, it's a, it's an herb and it's a spice. So uh, cardamom is, is a spice, you know, it's and has medicinal qualities as well. So um, and you can rub that on your skin and it can be absorbed and it's not going to create the same issues that petroleum would in your system. So. Right. Okay. Would you like to add anything else to this discussion? Uh, let's see. Um, uh, I like to. Go no, go ahead. Were you going to say? Um, well, when we were talking about stress was one of them, learning to uh, meditate, take time out for yourself, uh, do things that uplift you. Uh, if it ain't hurt nobody, you know, um, then 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 do that for yourself. Because um, um, a lot of times when you pull back from those things, it creates more stress, creates more tension for you, and um, and you just got to do it. Most of the time, you know, uh, sharing with other people, uh, being around other people. Uh, if you're a social person, then you should do that if it's uplifting for you. You know, um, if you're a person that's more reclusive and you need that downtime, 
then you should do it, you know, because all of us, you know, anything to an extreme is not a good thing. And like I said, uh, the one thing that's proven itself to be the human body does not lie. It does not lie. So it will let you know what your extreme is for you. I think so, that's so important. I, yeah. I think we we miss um, including that in the part of wellness mm -hmm. that it's not just mental wellness, but emotional wellness, that it's important for us to be able to, you know, to be who we are, Absolutely. And to, you know, and to have that space and, and demand, in a sense, making sure that we mm -hmm. ha make the time for ourselves, for self-care, for, mm -hmm. you know, providing um, what it is that we need, yeah. gifting ourselves with things, especially during the holidays, especially now, mm -hmm. since um, everybody's out and there's such a, a bustle and a, and a rush to uh, get things and the energy mm -hmm. uh, within the season um, is kind of materialistic or commercialist, or, you know, it's just a, a lot going on or, and it can be stressful. You know, we want to do certain things for our family members and do so, certain things for each other, uh, but making sure that we also include, you know, gifts for us mm -hmm. you know so uh i want to point out that within the space of love and light there are a lot of different herbs here a lot of different health products um and also we we have an end of the year uh giveaway that's coming up which is going to feature some local uh, businesses uh kim's herbs lit life creation tiggy pink uh what's another one Anne's roots. Anne's roots. So look out for that. We'll be posting uh, about that and what those gifts would be. Um, also, I'll be giving away, I believe, a journal. I think I'm going to give a journal. What? So like this, one of these journals. So it's, it's blank. And, you know, so look out for that raffle. That'll be going on um, for our, our, our New Year event uh, this week is open mic night which is friday which we're supposed to have i think snow on thursday and maybe <laughs> maybe the temperature will go up to five degrees i believe that's what it was so look out for that too i'm not sure if we're going to uh, we probably we may cancel uh open mic night so we'll depending we'll, on how bad it yeah is. keep yeah. you notified of that as well uh is there any other announcements or anything that we need to be abreast of um i believe yeah i believe that's it so oh next week we'll see uh depending how it is uh our guest is pamela mclucas who is a, oh, yeah. a realtor a st louis realtor so she'll be here uh discussing with us the housing crisis as well as uh giving us advice on um how to own a home and um insight with with that so for the community so that's next week for tuesday table talk so thank you for joining us and let's thank our guest Thanks mr yeah kelly wimbley for coming back mm -hmm. what this is the second week so mm -hmm. in which hey spirit works the way it works yes, it does. yeah it, it does, does. <laughs> so everybody stay healthy stay whole um, do your exercises you know eat right Take care of yourself, love on yourself, love on each other, and we will see you next week. All right. Thank you.